Well, everyone, it's a year anniversary for me and my wake up process. Um, I woke up literally three days before Memorial last year. And I was kind of a wreck that week uh, because uh, I never missed it in a Memorial before. Obviously, it's the most important day for Jehovah's Witnesses. So today is April 7th, and then this is going to be the, the Memorial. Now, this year, the Jehovah's Witnesses are doing it on Zoom. Uh, which I almost want to contact my mom and ask for the password just so I can see how stupid it's going to be. But I'm not going to do that because I don't care. That will require me waking up and I have to work. So I'm not going to do that. Um, a lot has passed since then. I mean, I was a basket case. Uh, thank God I'm an ENTP, so I kind of got over it pretty quickly. It took me about a month of tears and extreme binging on apostate material, really, for the whole month of April last year and April and May. Um, I went to Mexico and kind of isolated myself there to get my thoughts together. And now I'm in Texas after meeting somebody on OkCupid. Um, and it's, it's been an interesting year. Um, I would not say I'm fully recovered. Uh, many things that kind of make me kind of like a little weird in, I guess, around normal people is I'm kind of mixed this with Jehovah's Witness stuff and with <laughs> Union typology. FI is personal morals. Okay, and so I don't really have a moral compass currently, which is a normally a problem for ENTPs to begin with. But um, as a Jehovah's Witness, you have no reason to develop your own personal moral code because it's given to you. Uh, just like your own TI is developed on your own personal level, Jehovah's Witnesses have no reason to develop this because uh, it's given to you as well. You're given your, your thoughts and you're given your feelings to you on what's right or wrong, what to think and what not to look at. And so um, by a miracle, although I don't believe in miracles anymore, um, I, due to a lot of different influences, I was able to wake up, which is almost something near impossible for Jones Witness to wake up from. Uh, that memorial last year, I drank mm, almost a bottle of red wine. And so I, <laughs> I guess I partook a little bit too much of the Jesus juice. The last memorial, I was very depressed and sad um, because um, Jehovah died. And so people who are not witnesses or who are witnesses, and when you lose your essential identity, you know, because when you are a Jehovah's Witness, a real Jehovah's Witness, you know, your whole life revolves around the cult and your belief system. And when Jehovah dies, it's... I mean, that's just your entire world. You know, everything made sense before that. And then after that, you have to realize, you have to come to different conclusions. You know, um, at first I was exploring different faiths and looking at different things. And you realize you kind of organized religion and just religion in general is just idiotic, you know, people giving impossible answers to impossible questions. And, and so you realize it's just nonsense. Um, Typically speaking, people who are XJWs generally gravitate towards atheism or agnosticism because you literally spent your entire life debunking other religions and, you know, making them lose any kind of credibility. And so once you leave and you realize that Jones Witnesses have no credibility, what are you going to do? You know, with me personally, um, I watched numerous of different topics, which is typically what I do anyways. And, um, I wasn't really able to refute any of the arguments, and if when I started viewing the Bible, um, not with a predetermined admiration that you have to have if you're raised in America or you're raised in a Western country where the Bible is generally respected and given some kind of um, divine um, power and belief, so you make excuses for it when you're in the faith or you're raised in the faith, regardless of your, uh, your denomination. And so when I actually looked at the Bible through just regular eyes, as if I was reviewing any other historical book, then it easily falls apart like a house of cards because you have to literally use faith to make excuses for all the nonsense in it. You know, obviously the lack of ethics, um, just uh, inconsistencies, the obvious, you know, postulation of uh, different um, books that are mashed together to try to make some kind of like sequence like they're all in unison and they're not you know you literally have four different gospels and four different jesuses and that's not even counting paul's jesus and then there's multiple books that are, probably weren't written by paul and then you have the apocryphal books that were not put into the bible because of you know cornicea and people literally died you know trying to get books in or not get books in and 
it was just a big mess. Um, so it's just it's just a very interesting concept right now. Um, how am I doing now? I'm doing great. You know, I have met tremendous people, people who um, like me for me, not just because. You know, uh, uh, you know, I meet about philosophy meetups, and they think. You know, I'm smart, intelligent, or a thoughtful person. I like them because they're thought they're thoughtful, intelligent, you know, and, and, and nice people. And before your friendships as Jehovah's Witness are kind of just given to you, they're put in your lap. And so regardless of whether they're good people or not, you still have to be friends with them because they're your brother or sister. Uh, and so you always have this convoluted mess in the kingdom hall, you know, of all these different types and personalities and backgrounds in life. And in some ways that's kind of cool, but when you really get down to it, it's just kind of just mostly force. It's kind of like believing, you know, with a knife that at your back, you know, it's signing the Magna Carta at that point, you know, it doesn't, it's not really genuine. Um, and it is interesting, you know, my family is all still in, um, my own brother blocked me, uh, because I was trying to share my DNA test results with him, you know, trying to save him a hundred bucks. Cause I got a DNA test for my Christmas present, my first Christmas present. Uh, but he blocked me. Now, as a Jehovah's Witness, I felt guilty all the time. Very common people who are FB users, such as that. Um, you know, and I use my brother a lot to, you know, bounce different emotions back and forth because, you know, obviously we were both dealing with fear, obligation, and guilt. And I don't know who he's talking to now. And I actually am kind of concerned for him and his well being because, generally speaking, his issues with his wife, he usually consults me because she's. I love her, but she's crazy, you know, and um, well, maybe she's not crazy. She's just a Jehovah's Witness, you know, and she's under immense pressure and she's an ISFJ. And so, you know, who, who knows how hard that must be. And so maybe I need to be more empathetic to the people who are still in. And so, yes, Jehovah's Witnesses will be doing the Memorial of the Day um, on Zoom. Um, I imagine this will be done in smaller groups, probably their, their, their service groups. I imagine... Um, I haven't really asked my parents. I don't really care. Um, I'm trying to make it. Uh, they've come to the conclusion that I don't really care. I mean, it's only been a year, and um, yeah, it's not. I mean, I've tried to make it as clear as possible that I'm very confident, very positive. I've made new friends. I've made new family, and they're not needed now. If they want to apologize for treating me like shit, I'm there to you know accept their apologies and welcome them back into my family. But currently at the moment, they're not my family. Uh, and so I can play the whole Jesus shining thing where he's like, oh, your brothers and your sisters, your mom are here. Well, who are my brothers and my sisters? Well, these are my brothers and sisters. You know, uh, that whole nonsense. Um, I'm very thankful to my union typology group, CS Joseph group. Uh, conservative atheist group is actually really cool. Um, different video game groups. I've just met a lot of people, my philosophy groups and different things like that. And so if you are a depressed XJW right now and you're lacking family, you know, I mean, obviously coronavirus is, I shouldn't have said that word, the C word uh, is going on. So you can't go to meetups, although my meetup is on Zoom as well. But, uh, you know, reach out. There's just people out there, you know. Most people aren't in cults, so they don't have their friends given to me. So there's a lot of people, you know, out into the world looking for friends too. You know, there's people that lost their friends because they went through a divorce. And so, you know, and they had to remake their whole lives all together, you know? And so meeting new people is great. Traveling is great. People need to do this kind of stuff. But uh, I recommend everyone watch the Dubtown um, Memorial Celebration. My favorite part is uh, Sister Gossipy talking about Von Keisha. Uh, both sisters are portraying an ESFJ, by the way, maybe you know what that means. And obviously being totally judgmental about what clothes she's wearing is SE critic coming in and she's like, uh, she has right cheek coming in with that skirt. And I, she has that look like she's been fornicating. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know, I love Dubtown and I, 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 I miss Kevin McBree's making videos, but I understand he's moving on. Um, I, I typed him as an INTP. It's not surprising to me that he's moved on. He's not like the other apostates who are affiliative and consider this like their life's work to wake up everybody in the group. I won't do this forever either. Um, it's not in my blood. It's not in Kevin McFree's blood. It's in Lloyd Evans' blood. It's in, you know, John's blood. It's in uh, XGW Critical um, Thinker's blood. Those guys, you know, more affiliative and more 
about the community and rebuilding and saving people. Um, not that I don't care, I, I'll assist them as much as I can, but to do their amount of work, no, that's not in my cards. And uh, kudos to them, and I'm proud of them for that matter. But yes, this is one year for me. Um, I'm doing pretty good. I made new friends, new family. Every XGW should do the same thing.